Washington. This crowd, as we've come to expect in recent years, as loud as any in the NFL, and they get even louder when their Seahawks are introduced. We're ready for football as the Seahawks get set to do battle with the Baltimore Ravens. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. A first carry now for Marshawn Lynch. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. Rolling to his left. And now he's going to use his legs. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. The rushing numbers for Wilson may be down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. Touchdown, defense. Sponge, sponge, sponge. 14. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. He finds Lynch, it's complete. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. Second and 12 after the first down pass play went backwards for two yards. Lynch running the counter. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense, and they can add up as the game goes along. They control the clock, they control the ball, and that way... And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Jalen Ferguson in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. On fourth down, ready to punt Michael Dixon. Back deep is DeAnthony Thomas. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. From the gun, Jackson. The attempt on the dive, and he has it. What a catch. When I played in the yard as a kid, I used to imitate the spectacular catches that I would see on TV. I don't think I ever imitated one quite that well. <laughs> come on, give yourself some credit. No, I know better. What we just saw there, that was pretty special. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Jackson now. They go screen. This is Ingram. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can... A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Trey Flowers picks it, and they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. Oh, man, Brandon, not a real good throw that time. It looked like he tried to put a little too much air under this one, and it turned into a floater. And defensively, this is a dream. He could have fair caught that one. That was way too easy. They go play action here on first down. He lets it fly for Lockett, and that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, he'll force the incompletion. Had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. 
I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. On third down, Wilson. Looking for Lockett, and it's intercepted. Picked off here by Jimmy Smith. And the return stops just a few yards shy of midfield. They'll spot the ball at the 47-yard line. Well, this is simply a great read by a defensive back. It's third and 10, so he sits right on where the yard to gain marker is, knows it's going to be a route around that distance, makes his read, breaks on the football, and makes a terrific play. On the move to his left. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Bobby Wagner. Down the numbers, there he goes. And he's going to score. It's a Seahawk touchdown. So a dangerous pass over the middle into zone coverage, and it bit him hard. And what's really difficult when you throw it in that direction and versus that zone, that means the linebackers have gotten to their spot, gotten their heads back around, and they can see the quarterback and everything in front of them. And they took big advantage of it, went the other direction. Excellent blocking and picked up a touchdown. And his kick is no good. An inauspicious start here kicking-wise as this one stays a 6-0 game. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This is taken about seven yards deep. The Ravens take over first and ten at their own 25-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. And throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Let's go! Jackson now, throwing again, eluding the pressure right. They'll try and set up the screen, it's complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. Nothing on the screen that time, now it's third down. On third down, Jackson escaping the pressure right. And he can't get rid of it, he's taken down. The sack there by Rasheem Green. Defensive end gets in there that time. They were in a 4-3. What's the responsibility of the ends versus the tackles there, Charles? Well, most of the time, when you talk about the ends, they're your pass rushers. They're, they're the guys that you turn loose to try and get to the guy who's going to throw the football. The tackles, usually more of the run stuff and variety. But the way this game is advanced, you're wanting a little bit of everything out of all of your guys. But let's just go ahead and break it down and make it simple. The guy who's the right defensive end versus a right-handed quarterback, that's the blind side. He's going after the quarterback. He's going to put him on the ground. Good starting field position here for the Seahawks as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. Out to his left. And he finds a man with a crossing round. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. They get 17 on that one. Move the chains. First down, Seahawks. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Set a tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. A give to Lynch from the shotgun. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Go. Go. 
Now a give, running right is Lynch. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. To throw on third down. Wilson buying time to his left. He can run for it, and he will. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble, and now fourth down. I like this effort there. He got it done on his own, but let's face it. He puts defenses in a really stressful spot when he takes off and runs because a lot of guys have coverage responsibilities. Good job of rounding, though, because I thought when he first took off, he might pick up the first down. Fourth down. Here's Wilson being chased out left. He may try and run, and he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race, and he's going to score. It's a Seahawk touchdown. Russell Wilson, 27 yards. And the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. Extra point up and through by Myers, and the lead now stands at 13. To the touchdown here's Myers to boot it away that'll be taken in the end zone and he'll bring it back to just about the 25 call it the 24 yard line the Raven offense set at the line for this next drive and last drive three and out still a goose egg on the scoreboard how do they break that goose egg They've got to find a way to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, get them some space, and try and make a first down and get some momentum going. It's been a struggle for them throughout the game, and that three and out on the last possession, that told you just how stalled they are on offense. So who will step up here? We'll see. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. He was looking for Nick Boyle that time. But it's going to be second down. CD, with that incompletion, let's talk AFC playoff picture. I think you and I agree that if you put together any sort of power rankings, we put Baltimore number one, certainly in the AFC. But you look ahead to the playoffs getting started on January 4th. Who do you see as their main competitor for that Lamar Hunt trophy? Well, tradition and us not wanting to be wrong dictates that we say New England next. And rightly so, because of the number of Lombardi trophies they've won, how they've always played at this time of year. But the bottom line to me is, the prime contenders right now for Baltimore, Kansas City, Patrick Mahomes has gotten together, the defense is playing better. And Buffalo really showed me something when they beat Pittsburgh in Pittsburgh on a Sunday night in week 15. They'll try and throw for it with Jackson. He'll, and a big loss here as he's taken down. John Harbaugh not afraid to go for it. This time doesn't work out. And that will force a turnover. downs so from the 39 now they'll come up on a first and 10 now Wilson and that's complete to Luke Wilson and brought down but not before they're inside the 25 they get 17 on that one move the chains first down Seahawks First down, the run with Lynch. 
And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Throwing on second and 14. Wilson forced out to his left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Jalen Ferguson picks up his second sack of the afternoon. No doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs. How about the way they were able to contain him? That also tells me the coverage was excellent downfield. That's going to be caught. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. But well, we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered, but how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. And Charles, he's able to dive in there in a short yardage situation. Just find a place to get to the end zone. Didn't matter where it was, but once he did, used his nose for the end zone and dove in. Myers connects on the PAT, and that pushes the lead up to an even 20. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. don't want to. Well, no, but oh, let me finish. Okay, my bad. And you're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you, just, you, called called a I think you just called a desperation time. I, I think did. you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating, to use a boxing analogy. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. They'll break the huddle. Come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Jackson. Flushed out right. It's brought in here by Willie Sneed. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's good for a Raven first down. 15 yards there. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. We play to win. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando of this first half of action. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson dancing to his left. He's going to take off with it. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Normally we're talking about a quarterback duel where they're matching each other pass for pass. How about the footwork in this one? Both of these guys running the ball well. Yeah, they mixed in the run game. You're exactly right. Now, both coaches might not like how much their quarterbacks have taken off, but another example right there of just good mobility. Flush to his right. Sneed's got it. And they'll get this down to the 10. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. Yeah, that is incomplete, but a penalty flag is down. This could possibly be a push-off. 
So they say no to the penalty. The incompletion stands. It'll be second and 10. And what they want to do is go ahead and take those downs away from them. You never want to give extra snaps to any offense. That's how you get hurt. Jackson eluding the pressure right. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Trying to get it to Willie Sneed there. But now it's third and goal. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love it. And he will score! Touchdown, Baltimore! A 10-yard touchdown run as they are now on the board here in the first half. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yep. of a half, heading into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take it to the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. A lot of football. Full half to be played. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. Let's Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. You've got under a minute to go here until halftime. You've got the good size lead. No need to do anything crazy. No, there really is no need to do anything crazy. The smart play, go ahead and take your lead into the locker room and then try and add to it in the second half. But there's a part of me that looks at this and says, first half going my way, I have a little bit of a cushion. Let's go ahead and try and extend things. If you've got some good plays drawn up, you might want to think about them right here. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Now, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. So in their own territory, but they only need a few inches, so they're going to opt to go for this thing. We'll see. Maybe a surprise. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with a pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. And how about this line out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Jackson on first down, escaping the pressure right. Now he'll pull it down, and he is out of bounds inside the 35. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. To throw is Jackson, flushed out right. He'll try and run it. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from it. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. Steps away to his left. He'll run it. He's got the first down inside the 10. And he's down inside the 5 at the 4 before he's out of bounds. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. And now Jackson will look to throw it. Buying time to his left. Got a man, it's caught. 
for a Ravens touchdown. Marquise Brown there to make the grab as his guys are back within a single score. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, And that will get him one closer. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain, so now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 10 yards and a Seattle first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. A 10th carry of the game for Marshawn Lynch. And three yards there takes him to the 45. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. From the 45 on second down, Wilson. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Wilson now off the bootleg. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football and he's taken down. Jalen Ferguson getting him once again his third sack of the afternoon. Wilson in the offense not coming off the field. They're going for it on fourth. Here we go on fourth with Wilson. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. A surprising move to go for it, predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off, and the Ravens get the football back and in great shape. First and ten, it's Jackson. Flush to his right. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off inside the ten. And he will bring this all the way up to the 30-yard line. And with that incompletion, you know, Charles, one of the big storylines in the final few weeks of the season lies in the AFC South. Tennessee and Houston battling back and forth. Houston won round one, week 15, a victory in Nashville. But which of those two teams do you think has the potential to go deeper in the playoffs? Well, Tennessee just lost at home to Houston, and now we'll have to go on the road to play them again in Week 17. So I would say, on the surface, you would think Houston. They have the quarterback as well in Deshaun Watson that scares everyone. But I'm picking Tennessee as the team that can... Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the former Seahawk, Earl Thomas. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. So, my goodness, I wouldn't have thought this possible not too long ago, but that turnover there means we have a game again. Yeah, it's been a completely different team here in the second half. I just wonder, on the other side of the field, where the starters telling the backups, get ready, you're going to get some playing time, and now guess what? Hope they didn't cut the tape off of their wrists and ankles. They've got to go back out there and play. Baltimore with good starting field position as they come up first and 10 at their own 43, being chased out left. And that'll be incomplete. Well, let's get back to the playoff picture. We talked about the AFC. Let's look at the NFC. That race starting to come into focus. We know most of the teams. Seahawks, 49ers, Saints, and Packers all in. Vikings in good shape. 
how do you handicap this race? It seems like anyone can beat anyone. I think you're spot on because if you were going into the playoff, and he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down with a sack at Ziggy Ansah. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback, third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. That's good for a Raven first down. 15 yards there. Now Jackson on first down, eluding the pressure right. It's complete to Snead. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two Let's shy go. of the 30. They get 14 on that one. That's good for a Baltimore first down. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he's able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. Here's Jackson to throw. Forced out to his left. It's caught by Roberts. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Seth Roberts, 32 yards, as his guys can now take the lead with the extra point. Tucker with the extra point, and that will put them on top here in the third. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Their lead, they have seen it evaporate completely after such a good first half. They've been shut down here in the third quarter. Searching for answers, trying to figure out what it's going to take to get back to where they were before. The big part of it is that sometimes you don't have to go exotic now. You go back to basics. Being able to run the football, string some things together, some effective passes, try and get a rhythm established again, and try and get back in the Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. And it's picked up by the Ravens. To the fumble recovery, it's Jackson dancing to his left. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Throwing again on second down, Jackson. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. Jackson on first down, escaping the pressure. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Sacked there by Jadevian Clowney. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. Steps away to his left. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. So many times we talk about having good eye discipline when you're playing defense, making sure your eyes are in the proper place on a given play. Looks like that discipline came to the front there, didn't it? They were able to hold him for a short gain when he took off running. The Ravens on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and forever. Now it's Jackson. He uncorks it for Snip. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Trey Flowers picks it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z, 
and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. The Seahawks on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. Here it's third and two. Wilson. Buying time to his left. He can run for it, and he will. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Nowhere to go downfield, but he's able to get out of bounds and stop the clock here with a first down. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push, and what do they create? Space, and he takes off. Here's Wilson being chased out left. He's going to take off with it. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Looked to me like they adopted what my kindergarten teacher always said. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And finally able to hold him in check. He'd been carving him up running the ball. That's the first time I think I've seen where the coverage was good downfield and they accounted for him and stopped him for a short pickup. Yeah, I don't think it was a big adjustment, but much more emphasis on making sure they knew where he was when he decided to take off and go. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. Now it's Wilson. Steps away. He may try and run for this. Eight yards that time. Able to take off, and the result is a first down. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but it's winning time here in the fourth quarter. He needs to make those plays with the legs. Go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. Marlon Humphrey with a tackle defensively. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now Wilson forced out to his left. And he's going to keep it here. And he's going to score. It's a Seahawk touchdown. Russell Wilson, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Seahawks are going to retake the lead. Two-point conversion attempt still to come. To throw is Wilson. Dancing to his left. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. And for the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. This pass into the arms of Sneed. Pass the 20. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Willie Sneed. 65 yards as they can now tie the game with the extra point here in the final two minutes. The extra point, a vital one, and he gets it to go. And, partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. So right back to square one, tied at 28 as he kicks it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line.
Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And now last drive so successful with the ground game, ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? That would be the number check one thing four, you would four. think of, but so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action. Now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But, you know, there was a big-time coach in the state of Ohio who once said, <laughs> Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity missed. It definitely was because that's all defenses talk about getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. You're exactly right. A lost opportunity. They'll run on first down. Lynch. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Brings up second and two at the 43 yard line. Eight yards, the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Again, they'll pound it with Lynch. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Now Wilson rolling to his left. He can run. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Ravens. When I see a play like that, I come back to risk-reward. I don't know about you, but is it worth it at that point, whatever you're going to pick up, to either take the hit and, in this case, lose the football? So should have gone down. I mean, hindsight's always 20-20, but that's the safe play. You're exactly right. Hindsight's really never wrong, is it? Because you can analyze it, but I think ultimately you got to look at it as a first option taking care of the ball, getting what you can, and that's it. Don't worry about it anymore. And now look at him go. 20, 10, and he's in for the touchdown and in the formation. And that score in this time frame, that's like a big reveal at the end of a great movie, isn't it? <laughs> Out of nowhere, almost, it appears. They get it done. How about that score? It finishes like this. This is why we love sports. This is why we love the game of football. So glad that we got to be here to watch this one. An incredibly short kick fielded way up there. Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. From Seattle, so long, everybody.